Yo, hard case locker fanatics, buckle up because we're about to take a deep dive into the vault of NBA insanity. This ain't your typical highlights reel. We're talking mind-blowing buzzer beaters, hilarious blunders, and moments so crazy you gotta see him to believe him. Get ready for trick shots that defy physics, flops so dramatic they deserve an Oscar, fan antics that will leave you speechless, superstar meltdowns that'll make you laugh or cry, and of course, the one and only Dennis Rodman being, well, Dennis Rodman. So, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell because you don't want to miss this! At number 20, we have a shot so crazy, no one saw it coming. This guy is focused, but I can't say the same for Tony Parker. At number 19, he took the weirdest free throw in NBA history. That was almost as crazy as number 18. In the 2022 playoffs, Devin Booker dedicated the shot to a special fan. Just seconds remaining, Nance defends, double team, got it! Whoa, that baby is wearing supreme gear. But courtside moments get even wilder. At number 17, Kevin Durant showed off his moves for a grandma. Watching the double team, you're watching this game close. They're forcing Chris Ball in the paint. Uh, she got hit with the ball and she gets a kiss from uh, Kevin Durant. She's gonna <laughs> tell all her friends about this tomorrow. She needs a picture. Grandma's getting some attention tonight, just like Jason Terry at number 16. Series long, we've been able to penetrate their bigs, get deep, suck the D in. And if you can't do it for two halves, you got to do it for all 48 minutes. The game is 48 minutes, but sometimes it feels like 1 minute and 41 seconds. Still, I try to make every shot count, just like this fan did at number 15. Wow, didn't see that coming. No one saw number 14 coming either when Trevor Booker made one of the craziest circus shots ever. Booker, got it! Are you kidding me? My grandma's shot was wild, but it doesn't beat number 13 when Jeremy Lamb shocked everyone. Cold game, but not all crazy moments are pretty. Number 12 was ugly. The NBA has a problem with players flopping like fish to draw fouls, and it's getting out of hand. No one flops harder than Marcus Smart. Greatest flop in NBA history. Oh, this is. <laughs> Played it off. He laid on the floor like he got shot. Isn't that a new dance? Oh <laughs> what is this guy doing? That's just embarrassing. But it could be worse. At number 11, Larry Nance made one of the funniest mistakes ever. Less than two points a game. He's not there to shoot the basketball, uh, but they need to get that. Oh, Last year Nance was a problem. The <laughs> Lou Williams looking at him like, grab the ball, young man. He scored in his own basket. What are you doing? But now we're in the top 10, so things are getting to get even crazier. Let's start with this guy. Phoenix Suns cheerleader Nick Corrales. This man is famous as the human basketball. Why? Well, he accidentally ducked himself. But the craziest part is that this video went viral and made him an internet star. As it's happening, you must be going. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, yeah. like, it was more of a, oops. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. My bad. Yeah. 
Now you know what a ball feels like. Right. Dunking yourself is pretty wild, but not as crazy as number nine, when Taj Gibson tried to block a shot with his shoe. But a legend. Speaking of legends, we have to talk about Steph Curry at number eight. Steph got the ball and did the thinkable. Davis sitting out because of injury. Here's Curry off the steal. And oh, look out, Curry slipped. And that shoots the three. Wow, they caught my man sleeping, but not crazy McCready. At number seven, he made one of the craziest comebacks ever. Back in 2004, it was Rockets versus Spurs, with only 40 seconds left. The Rockets were down by eight points. They needed a miracle, and then Crazy got the ball and went wild. It's obviously upset with Manu. Here's McGrady for three. It's easy. The score is now leading by seven. Rockets looking for a quick shot. Bowen is all over. McGrady foul is picked up. Yes. It's a contest on the floor. Barry can't find anybody. They have no timeouts remaining. Finally gets it in for McGrady. McGrady over Bowen for three. Yes. Yes. Chris Barry gets it in. That night, T Mac scored 13 points in just 35 seconds, stealing the game from the Spurs. Tracy really wanted that win, but not as much as Jason Kidd did. At number 6, Kidd was caught cheating on live TV. In 2013, during a game against the Lakers, Kidd's nets were down by two points with only eight seconds left and no timeouts. Kidd had to get creative, so he told one of his players to spill his drink on the court to stop the game and get an extra timeout. It seemed smart, but it backfired. Not only did the nets lose the game, but Kidd was fined $50,000 the next day for spilling his drink on purpose. That's a big loss. But at least it didn't run his whole season. What the Rockets did at number five was even crazier and cost them a championship. In the 2018 Western Conference Finals, the Rockets were up three games to two against the Warriors. They had an 86% chance of winning the series and going to the NBA Finals. But instead of winning game six and knocking out the Warriors, the Rockets got blown out, sending the series to a game seven. With everything on the line, you'd think the Rockets would give it their all, but they ended up with one of the biggest joke jobs in the NBA history. The Rockets were terrible that night. Not only did they get kicked out of the playoffs, but they also set an NBA record for missing 27 three-pointers in a row. You know why? Because they weren't subscribed to the channel. Harden behind the screen. Gordon for three. Harden. They are in their grill. Here's Harden way off. Tucker. Boy, Harden is short. Harden shoots it. Five for 15 from the field. Shoots the three. Always in striking distance. A reason for three. Harden comes from short. There's a corner three from Tucker. Harden is open. The three. Way off. He's turning and shooting. Off balance shot. Golden State doing it here in the third. Pops it out to Gordon for three. Ariza for three. Cannot find the range. Is there a point pressure where you stop? If you don't subscribe, James Harden might miss a shot and hit you in the face. So, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. Anyway, let's talk about number four. Remember when the NBA Finals were taken over by a crazy event? It was June 17, 1994, and the Rockets were playing the Knicks in Game 5. With 20,000 people there and over 12 million watching at home, everyone expected an amazing game. But then, something wild happened. This is a Channel 5 News special report. There is a rather amazing story developing in Los Angeles this hour where California Highway Patrol is in pursuit of a white Ford Bronco, a car that was reported to be one that might contain O.J. Simpson and a friend earlier today. Everybody is looking now at a live picture. So. 
They cut away from the NBA Finals to show a live police chase of O.J. Simpson, the football star accused of murder. It was unbelievable. Now we've hit the top three moments, and things are about to get even crazier. First up, the biggest controversy in NBA history. During Game 1 of the 2008 Finals, Paul Pierce looked seriously hurt. But years later, he revealed the real story behind what happened that night. Yeah, Paul admitted he pooped his pants. He actually said it. But in 2021, Paul made it even crazier by turning poop gate into a conspiracy. Paul decide already. Did you poop or not? If you did, it's okay. We all make mistakes. But no mistake is as crazy as J.R. Smith's. On May 31, 2018, the Cavs were playing the Warriors in Game 1 of the NBA Finals. With 5 seconds left and the score tied at 107, Cleveland had the ball with one goal. Score! JR forgot the score during the NBA Finals. If that wasn't bad enough, the Cavs lost this game in overtime and then lost the series in just 4 games. That moment might haunt JR forever. But there's one player who's remembered for a lifetime of craziness. Dennis Rodman in the 90s. Rodman was one of a kind, both on and off the court. From kicking a cameraman to doing wild commercials, and don't even get me started on his outfits. Being different was Rodman's thing. In 1996, he wanted to show the world how unique he was. So he wrote an autobiography and promoted it by wearing a wedding dress and marrying himself. Rodman might be ridiculous, but that's what made him an NBA legend. So in the end, it was all worth it. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more. Until next time, Hardcase Locker Fanatics is signing off.